You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear on a full stomach. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the country. Ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. Bojana here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Here you are, then. Eat your fill. And a little wine to wash it down. Thank you, my lady. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, ma'am. When you've done, you can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Something to eat. I hear you came from Scarlet's today. It must have been terrible there. How did it happen? I have to eat something. My inside. It was a fine sunny day until Sigismund came with his army. I saw him sitting there with his red beard and proud posture as he gave the signal to attack. Oh, no. I ran to the castle for shelter with the others. Behind me I could hear the shouts of the attackers and the screams of the wounded. Then I turned and saw father trying to save mother. They... they were both killed. 
The gate was closed by then. The men on the battlements were calling to me to run and warn you here. And with God's help, I made it. My God, that's horrible. You were lucky to survive. And our thanks for warning us. I'll pray that you see better times. Yes? It is I, Henry. Forgive the intrusion. I didn't wake you, boy, did I? Uh, my lady... Uh, um... No, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. My lady, um, thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to, but to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry, I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. Sorry, my lady, but I can't talk about it. Not yet. Everyone close to me died there. I'm sorry about what befell you. Thank you, my lady. I hope at least Radzik and those who managed to take cover are still all right. So do I. Oh, the worst thing is not being able to do anything to help them. No one can do anything against such an army. The king is in captivity, and the nobility at each other's throats. What is to become of us? God alone knows. True, lad. God alone knows. I should go. It's late. You must be tired. Good night. Good night, ma'am.
Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is there? What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Skelets. Don't be daunted by their numbers. Heed my commands, and all will end well. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmud and unite? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scalax. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts give his scent to Scalax, the spy on Sigismund. Said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And so Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. What else did the spies see? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here. Won't we? Right, we will. Who else, Robert? Sir Adzig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. <laughs> well, Radzik, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Thank God. A brave young man. But tell me, friend, how on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left the storm in the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? 
I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Scalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Don't even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. These are dark times. Sort out the watches between you as always. And if I catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off, I'll personally break every bone in his body. I want you to keep a close eye on everything nearby. Sigismund will surely have sent spies, and likely men as well, to follow the Scalitz people now he knows they've fled. Keep your eyes peeled and report everything to me at once. Understood? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch for the battlements, my man? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid! And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. I'll do it with you. Hey, you! What are you doing? What the fuck are? Was something here? Lost your way, have you? You! Yeah. That's not the way to the battlements. Something you're looking for here? Ooh, there's someone there. Ugh! Lost your way, Harry. That's not the way to the Batmans. Wandering around like a stray sheep. Must be your first watch, eh? I don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you.
how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. You may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. <laughs> That's the bastard who let the attack of Scarlet and kill my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Mark Vart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvart. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Taunberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scalitz mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scalitz. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talmberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle, where he has little chance of defense, to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Am I to inform the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty? Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intention of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. I will relay your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and good will may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. Get on with you, Robard. Be with you. Why did Sigismund burn down Scalitz and then come here too? That's war for you, lad. 
Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Ratzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas' allies. Sir Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. My parents died there, and I won't leave them to be ravaged by dogs. I have to bury them. Good God, boy. Do you want to throw your life away for those who can never get theirs back? Do you think that's what they'd want? Forget it. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Does you can manage even more when I can. It'll all. Mary, Mother of God, preserve us. God be with you. I need to get out of here. And I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we'll both be disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Let me out, I say. Don't you know who I am? Someone is about to lose his teeth if he doesn't get lost quick. My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. All right, I'll see what I can do. Farewell.
Fucking roof. Well, that's some comfort. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well, I'm just a simple soldier, but the good Lord gave me ears. And I've heard some things from Sir Divish, and from those who fled from Sigismund's village. Were there many? Indeed. But it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad. These are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobst. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? I suppose... because it has a strategic position and good fortifications, so it can be used as a base for raids, giving you control of the whole territory and good defences too, if, if you need them. <laughs> Not at all. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while King Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored him. Now you're starting to understand. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So with the attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian... And believe me...
What are you doing with that weapon drawn? Put it away, or I'll go and get a guard. Put that... Huh. Put that weapon away. I do with a bite to eat.
How much do I want? I as long as there's law and order. And... Good day to you. Can you tell me who I can buy something from or sell to? You want Votov, the fellow that fixes the weir at the Tamburg fish pond. He should be around the granary somewhere. Mary, mother of God, preserve us. Good luck to you. She was well Hey, is someone there? Get the hell out of here. There's nothing here for you. Are you deaf? Over there. Hey, you! Clear off means. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That will land you a fat fine. That much? I don't have enough on me. You still have to pay the penalty. Looks like you'll have to sit it out in jail. Oh, come on, my friend. You know I'm in the service of Saradze Kobola, don't you? Try your fairy tales on someone else. Here! Now you're done for. Hey! You uh. call that combat? Uh. Well landed. Uh. Missed. Uh. 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 Is that all you got? Uh. Uh. You enjoyed your time in our little establishment? Mm. Not much, actually. Glad to hear it. And can I go? Go? Ah, you can, I'm sorry to say. Now bugger off and get yourself killed for all I care. I hope you enjoyed your time in our little establishment? Mm. Not much, actually. Glad to hear it. And go. Look out. Jesus Christ be praised. Sir Robart, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here.
It's a robot. My parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you do in my place? Sorry, lad, but I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. May the lord watch over you. Ah! Still a bit of light. What? She sits down. She's quite deaf. Fuck, that fool from Scalettes has gone and jumped in the moat. Raise the alarm. He's trying to escape. I'll be with you. Sir Robart, I need... What would you do there, lad? My parents died there. I'm a free man, and I don't need to ask anyone's leave for doing what's right. Tell your people to let me out, or I won't be responsible for the consequences. Be glad I'm in a good mood, and won't have it spoiled by some greenhorn. Take care now. Damn! God damn it, my stomach hurts. Got you! Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake! I have to bury my parents! You're going nowhere. Except back inside. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhallowed ground. And I'm stuck here, a stone's throw away. All right, shove me. I'll pretend you caught me off guard and I fell over. I'll deal with the others. You just get out of here on the double. I'll have to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. You. Jesus, you gave me the runaround. Let me go, for Christ's sake. I have to bury my parents. You're going nowhere, except back inside. But I have to... All right, take me. That's a good lad. Scullet 
Back. If I don't bury them now, they'll be ripped to pieces by jackdaws and scattered over unhall- All right, shove me. I'll deal with the others. Kurva! Ah! Yeah. Got you. Will you never give up? Let me go, for Christ's sake! I have to bury my parents! You're going no, except back! But I have to... Alright. That's a good lad. You. Will you never let me if I don't be the all right, I'll deal with Kurva Ah Cramp damn it come here lad for me here, friend. Better to keep going on my own. It's like they've already gone.
Who's there? What's that? Well, I never. The pig turns up willing. Uh. Okay, Bernie.
are you doing here? Part of life, are you? Oh. Used to buy a side and did this to you. In the end, you were a hero. You didn't run away, didn't abandon them like me. Why did you do it to me, Father? Why? Why did you leave me? Forgive me. Forgive me for everything. Next time I won't run. I'll never run away again. his face. I'll find him. But first, I have to find this shovel and I'll take care of you. I remember you told me you wanted to lie beside Mother. Here, under the linden tree. At least I can do that much for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good thing with a bite to eat. Get away, you mutt! Get away, you beast! What's going on? Bishop, what in God's name are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Digging turnips? The beast just went for me. Isn't that Mutt the Butcher's? Isn't that body the Butcher's? Yeah, that's him. What's that got to do with anything? I'd say the poor creature is standing guard over his master. You weren't trying to get to him, were you? What do you care what I'm doing here? What are you doing here? I came to bury my parents. So bury them and leave me be. Do you know what happened to Teresa in the mill? No. I've interrupted you robbing the dead. Is that why you're so ill-tempered? You bastard. Haven't you got a shred of honor? And what of it? The butcher has no more need of corn. And now that I think of it, your sword would do me quite nicely as well. Will you hand it over without a fuss, or do you want to end up like the butcher? The only way you touch this sword is when you shove it in your guts. So that's the way of it? Good master won't be like this.
Damn it all. You how it would end. <clears throat> you should have listened to me. <clears throat> this is nice work. <clears throat> the chief is going to like it. <clears throat> it's new, isn't it? <clears throat> now, for the maiden bloodletting. <clears throat> Surely your father never would have imagined it would be your blood. I believe there's a word for such moments. The old man would certainly know. But I'm just a common killer. Did you help make it? No doubt you did. Such miserable luck. To die by the sword you helped forge. Hey, go fuckers!
Mouth is spreading. <laughs> You need some help? It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? Hmm. I still have a fever. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scalitz? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scalitz after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. You're awake. Good morning. <laughs> it's near midnight. You've slept all day. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? I oh, haven't felt as good as this since they lashed me to the wheel and quartered me on the town square. Got your sense of humour back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. I had a job persuading him to let me bring you here. If you'd lain around much longer, he really would have dumped you on the town square. You can stay until you find somewhere else to live, but my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanisch of Lipa. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Radzig. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my... You've been in your sickbed for over a fortnight while he paid... I've been lying here two weeks. My 
Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. My name's Henry. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole weeks while you were in limbo, and talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter, who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions. That quack doesn't come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still... That is, you still owe him. I see. Well, it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch. What do I owe? I'm not afraid of hard work. You won't pay for that shoveling manure. I might have a better job for you. If you prove to me you're a clever lad, I might trust you with something you could really make money for. Well, what would you need from me? A trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to some... That sounds straightforward enough. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want... Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only... No honourable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did you expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right. But somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind... I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. Listen, it's about this ring my mate Wodzek, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Jesus Christ, you want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. Money first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever bleeding heart can... It's still a human body. I think I've already heard more than I need to know. Watch your mouth, boy. There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. Thanks. Oh, and uh, may the Lord watch over you. What 
Да. Have you eaten yet? Yes, it was very good. Did you bake it yourself? I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it.
This is a bit awkward, but recently you buried a convict, and um, this convict, um, was a family man. He left three young children, and I thought it might ease their hearts if I gave them the ring their father had on him in his final hour. I'm sure you wouldn't bury him with such a valuable thing. Children, you say? You're right, I do have the ring. But actually, it's a worthless bauble. You can have it for a few groschen. It's a deal. Here it is. What? This is nothing but an ordinary copper band. It's not worth a tin penny. God be with you. I'll have that ring for you. Good. Nice to know you're the sort of lad I can trust with a job like that. Now run with the ring to Wojtek, the Miller and Kohelnitz. He'll have some work for you. And I'll have something for you soon too. A clever fellow like you will never want for work. At the very least, I'll buy. Stolen goods? Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not a thief. May the Lord watch over. I could do with a bite to eat. It's quite easy. It only takes a bit of practice. Now try poking around in the lock and pick until you feel the right point where the tumble is. Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock to the blade, but don't stop holding the tumble of the pick. Otherwise, you forced it and broke the lock pick. That crack could be hurting, couldn't burn. 
You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. You're a dab hand, Hal. Make something out of you yet. And remember, this trunk's only for practice. Real loss. Yeah. Quite a few good times. Hey, good luck with the real thing. Would you teach me something about the, uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers' purses into your own? Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. Take care now.
I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Once you've found something you want, you've got to pull it out, carefully, but fast enough so I try stealing my dagger. It's there, mixed up with other things. You. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. You. If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. Caught you! If this was for real, I'd be yelling for a guard. Try it again. <clears throat> That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk so you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Take care now. Greetings, Henry. What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, uh, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some... If that's what you want. It's not you, Hal. It's just this isn't a good time.
only started not long ago. Always in the evening while there's still a bit of light. Halt! Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzig Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship and what makes you think he'll see you? Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzig's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. I may not look the part, but I know about honor and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Oh, it's a long story. What about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? Oh, you wouldn't believe. They never dreamed Sir Radzik would use a storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away, as quiet as mice, while no one was. In the morning when those bandits attacked, or if... <laughs> so... That be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Huh. Go 
Good evening. Take care. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Ratte, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well... There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order? <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others, listen to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. 
as long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage. But you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, dupe Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. But a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So would like to enter my service. Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. What do you think this is? An inn? Get the hell out of here. Hey, young fella. You can't sleep here. Go and find a bed of your own. Out.
Hey, you! Halt! Surrender! You'll have to answer for your law-breaking. <laughs> enough is enough. I'm really sick of upstarts who think the law doesn't apply to them. Don't tell me you don't know everyone has to carry a light at night. Well, you won't forget this in a hurry, because it'll take a nice pile of coin to fix it. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. My heart bleeds for... That's too much. Well, it's a jail set. Put me in jail, then. You'll love it there. It's all set up, specially ja Do you seriously think you can creep around here in the dark right under my nose? That's against the law. Well, well, you won't forget this in a hurry. Hmm. This is surely no way to... Sure. I can't pay that. Put me in jail, then. Get moving. I hope you rot there. Hey, you! Don't move a muscle! Damn it, my stomach hurts.
Hey, you! Dědina, nedaleko Hodonína, je tam studenka. Greetings. What do you need? I'd like to enroll in the big tournament. All right. As long as you've got the enrollment stake, Sir Anish's rule is every contestant has to put up three score groschen. Poof. That's a bit rich for my purse. Aye. The tourney's only for fellas that are serious about it. If you can't pay, you can't enroll. Take care now. I could do with a bite to eat. Lords and ladies, gentlefolk, good friends and neighbours, welcome to the renowned Rate Tournament! A tournament in which the bravest men of the whole With you. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy, Sir Ratzik, sir. Yes, that's me. Let's get to it then, since that's what Sir Ratzik wishes. Uh, and because you've never held a sword in your hand before, we'll start with something simple. My father was a blacksmith, so I've learned a thing or two. Fine. We'll try something more advanced, then. Good luck to you. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Good strike. Ah! 
That's enough. Uh, my work cut out, it seems. That's life. Let's try something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. If my sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. Nice! Yes. Not bad! Nice! Yes. Wrong! No, that's wrong. Good. No, that's not it. Well done. Right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. But it's better not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. Gah! All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Not bad. No, not like that. You mustn't hold a sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. Soon again. Uh, Not bad. Ow. Try and catch the rhythm. You see the sword move, you move at the same time and deflect it. We'll try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Nice! Try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Ow. Sir Hans, what brings you here? I was on my way when I noticed that you're entertaining Sir Radzig's esteemed guest. Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hand's grown heavy lately. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. 
Just try not to hurt yourself. Where did we finish? Yeah, leading the opponent where you want him. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside, attack, and I'll show you. Let's go! All right, try it. It's important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. But the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump aside. We'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. Ah! Wrong! Again! Ow! No! Ow! Wrong! Ah! Uh. Wrong! Again! No, that's not it. No, not like that. Ah, that's it. Well done. Nice. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try and get used to the rhythm. Never take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Ugh. Ugh. Ah, that's it! Not bad. Very good! And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. Wrong! Again! No! No! Not like that! No! Not like that! What is it? Sudden visitation by the... Wrong! Damn it! Wrong! Damn it! No! Not like that! Very good! Very good! Very good! Very good! Good! Well now, that wasn't too bad. Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. But don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to do and you're in the mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Don't leave yet. Sir Radzik also wanted me to teach you archery. Come with me.
Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we can start. And another thing, put on this arm guard. Without it, you could flay your forearm with a bowstring, so be sure to wear it. Thank you, Captain. Save me. Now concentrate. The bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You would have gotten far there, sure holding nothing like a piece of firewood. But enough talk. There's the target. Try and hit it. Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw, hold your breath for a moment, and then release the string. No jerky movements, just let the string slide out of your fingers, as if you were about to draw it back more. And all one movement. If you are arrow aiming at the target, fly it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Well, that was awful. I didn't imagine a village yokel like you would have much skill, but you failed to meet even my low expectations. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. The braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well? Any time. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I don't have enough. Then you'll owe me or work it off. Let's get to it. Congratulations, Sir Hans. Nicely shot. Thank you, Bernard. It seems I get to keep the bow. So, blacksmith, do you know your place now, or do you need more? Sir Hans, is this necessary? Sir Hans has already had words about you fighting with your subjects. He explicitly told me. I know what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. If we must. Excellent. Then let's go. You'll get what for. A second defeat, Blacksmith. You still have a lot to learn. I suppose I should give you credit for taking on my challenge. Despite your... Thank you, sir. You owe me now. I hope you keep your word and bring me coin when you have it. I feel quite hungry.
Ja? Don't fret about it, lad. Lord Capon is a good swordsman, and if by some fluke you actually won, well, he might not take it so well. Now go to the rat house. The bailiff's waiting for you there. All right, Captain. Yeast! Let it bake a bit, and you'll be able to feed the whole family with fresh bread. God be with you. Master Bader, is there anything of interest going on here? 
Nothing of interest to me, thank Christ. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. You can count on me, Bailiff. You're certainly bold. I'll... Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, but... I want to learn to read. Who should I go and see? There's a retired scribe in Ujits. He... Take care. What do you want here? God be with you. Have you heard anything about the Cumans in Sig? Everywhere they go, they. God be with you. God be with you. Good luck to you.
Don't think you can just help yourself here. I have to account for I was told everything. to pick up a kit here. Name Henry. And in fealty to Sir Radzik Kobola? Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. A Do you want a kiss and a hug as well? I'm it's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. Greetings, what do you need? Let's have a word about the price. Sure, why not?
I knew we'd come to an arrangement. Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? Well, I am... Um, I... That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget... I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. This is our church, St. Matthew's. It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the Lords of Lipa, our masters. The gravedigger lives right round the corner, the priest too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there, and our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. And the jailhouse. We don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure you know. He lives by Gallows Hill, the other side of the creek. This pillory was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been left. Rooms for your house, the rakes and hoes for your field. What else do you need? Come on up and see. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. If you won't go to the... What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her.
What's the problem here? This is my shop, and I won't have beggars sitting on my doorstep. Let her go and squat in the square. She won't be in anyone's way there, and there's plenty of folk to beg from. Must you sit here, of all places? Yes, I do. Why? Folk drive me away wherever I sit. I can't keep walking all day and night. Can't you show us some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any arms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? We're both good Christians, aren't we? We should each give something to the poor soul. And what then? Then Jane will be on her way. Immediately. King Solomon now, are you, lad? Fine. Fine. Have it your way. God bless you, and... and you too, citizen. I won't be a nuisance no more, really. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. You're as bad as each other. Oh, I'll have to get something to eat. I'm stop. Not a grain of respect or gratitude. <sighs> Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like that here. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. We've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. Pruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short reign, which the young bucks are none too happy about. I heard he even keeps the poor lass locked up at home all day. Look here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. Good day to you. Good luck to you. Comfortable, are we? Arms, please, sir. Who do you take me for? Are you stupid or just insolent? Well, what's the matter? Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Who am I bothering here? Me. Us. Everyone. If Sir Hanu saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. Damn beggars. You offer them a helping hand, and they want the whole arm. It's not like the rules aren't clear. Beggars belong at the church. There's one alehouse here on the market square, the Trader's Tavern. The other's up by the gate. We'll be going there later. Mm.
Let's move along to the inner bailey. Come on, Henry, we're wasting time. Now, where was I? Ah. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment, but his apprentice is standing in for him tolerably. I hear you're a blacksmith's apprentice too. You lot could help if needed, couldn't you? Us? What do you mean? You and your master, or your father, whoever taught you. They... What is it, lad? My father was the master blacksmith. He was killed in Skalitz. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thank you. So am I. My papa died not long ago. Of course, it was old age got him. That's not the same, but I know a little how you feel. The Rate fiefdom is pretty big. Naturally, it starts here by the town and continues along the Sassau River all the way to Kohelnitz. Then there's Gallows Hill, lots of farmhouses scattered around. Neuhof, Merhoyed. Master Smill is in charge of Sir Hanush's stables. He's by far his best vassal. It's all a bit complicated for a newcomer, I suppose. This lord here, that lord there, this exemption here, that right there. Exemptions from exemptions, rights to half of something, so on. It'd take you a year to make head or tail of it. This tower was only half the size when I was a young lad. Sir Hanush had it extended and made into an armory. whose home was burned to ashes by Sigismund's horde. <sighs> you, well enough, Nightingale. It's quiet today. Good. Where's Moimir, anyway? Isn't he supposed to be here with you? Ah, yes. He hasn't turned up yet. Oh, I see. Now, where might he have got to, then? I don't know. You don't know, eh? Let me tell you something. When the bailiff finds out Moimir's slacking off, he'll be in serious shit. And being a friend of his, you wouldn't want that, would you? No. So it's better if I deal with it and we leave the bailiff out of it, right? Um, yes, I suppose so. so where is he? Uh, in the tavern. He was thirsty, so he... Went for an ale. We know how that goes. Come on, Henry. Let's go and find that idler, and you'd better talk some sense into him. What the fuck are you doing here when you're supposed to be on the gate? Uh. Move your carcass and go and guard the gate. Uh, I... Not a word. Get moving. You're lucky it was me found out, not the bailiff. Oh, well, God forbid, Captain Bernard! Out! Come and sit with me, Henry. Let's have a drink. That 
fool got me all worked up. Shouldn't we be on patrol instead of drinking? You're eager, aren't you? Don't worry, even watchmen are entitled to a break. Except the ones on the gate and the tower, of course. But that's enough about that. Let's not let it spoil our day. Listen, since we're sitting here anyway, how about a little game? Why not? Why, oh, why did I ever agree to this? I'll lose my shirt again. Just one more thing and we're done for the night. Ringing the end of the day and closing the taverns. Isn't it still a bit early? I don't know how it was in Scarlet, but here in Rate we close up at this hour. Except, of course, during fairs and big festivals. Then we don't close at all. I see. Should I go and ring the bell? If you wouldn't mind, the bell is hanging outside the Rat House. Ring three times, then go to the Trader's Tavern by the Market Square and make sure the innkeeper closes up. I'll do that. Before I forget... Oh, my word. Oh, good God. I need to lie down before I split my face open from yawning.
And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> 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 no, 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 we can we could see we could see that this wasn't going to end well. So Sir Peter and I rode off to look for the good cannon on his pig. <laughs> they do find him. <laughs> we tracked the filthy beast down to a sty beyond Cronau. I mean, the beast with a tonsier on its head. <laughs> we never found the real pig, but the Reverend was sound asleep in the pig sty. <laughs> Birds of a feather stick together. It seems the same goes for pigs and planets. <laughs> I toast, gentlemen, to pigs and planets. God save their bacon. <laughs> so, Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need... Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. <laughs> Nothing closes while I'm sitting here. If that's all, you're dismissed. Are you out of your mind, lad? You can't cross his lordship. He's got a temper like a bear with gut egg. If I was you, I'd get lost before he shows it. The bailiff instructed me to close the tavern at the proper hour. He doesn't want anyone disturbing the peace after curfew. The bailiff? The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he He's hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no, then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough. You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. Come now, sirs. You're not going to fight here, are you? We most definitely are. This yokel needs to be taught his place. name of Christ is happening here. Hell, answer me, damn you. This peasant insulted me. I had to teach him a lesson. By rolling around in the mud like a hog? That's a fine example of noble conduct. Sir Hannes, the bailiff ordered me Silence! to... Silence! You shut your mouth and thank your lucky stars that you are Radzig's ward. Have you gone out of your mind? Raising your hand to a nobleman? And you, Hans. How many times have I told you that drinking with your subjects might be good for their morale, but it's bad for your honor? <sighs> you spend all your days drinking and chasing wenches, which wouldn't matter if you paid any attention at all to your duties. And now we see what that leads to. Tomorrow, you will go with me to a hearing. Some landowners will ask me to settle a dispute. It will be an excellent lesson for you. I had planned to go hunting, but if you think listening to the pointless gripes of a bunch of old fools will benefit me, so be it. Ooh, hunting? Well then, Your Grace, I'll tell you what. You can go hunting. Really? Naturally. Who am I to deprive the young Lord Capon of his sport? And you can take Henry here as your page. Him? Absolutely not. He'll do as I've commanded. It's time you learned how to lead people, and not just in drinking and brawling. Now get out of my sight! Sir, I have responsibilities of the bailiff. Not I anymore! Can't... Your responsibilities now are the Lord Capon. It's time you learned how to behave in the presence of nobility. Let's go! Tell the kitchen I'm hungry. It's been a long journey.
Henry, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, lad! Don't you so, want to do a uh, wager on the rat age? How have you been? I can't stop thinking about sca- I know. What do you mean? Do you feel like a walk? That's not a bad idea. But probably not in the rain. We could both catch a fever. As her ladyship commands? <laughs> you just... I've brought you something. Um, thank you, but... Well, if, if something bad happens to you again, it could come in handy. I see. Well, that's a kind thought. How dare you sleep in someone else's bed? Get lost! Huh? You can't be serious. Sleep in another people's bed. Get out, or you'll be sorry. Hey, do you think you own the place? Snoring here? Clear off! Damn. Hmm? What do you think this is, an inn? Get the hell out of here! Get up! What are you doing lying here? Get the hell out! Let me sleep. Uh, no, my God, sleep.
Here I am. I'm overjoyed. Have you got a horse? No, sir. Where would someone like me get a horse? Good point. But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly. Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. Take care now. Smith! Look here, Blacksmith. About that business at the alehouse. Yes, sir. Anush was right. I should have behaved differently. More, well, gentlemanly. But that doesn't mean you were in the right. You can't throw a lord out. Talk of something else. Is this your first time hunting? This kind? Yes. I've been hunting.
Listen, I wanted to ask you about scallops. I don't know if um, that is so. Uh, I don't know if that's a suitable topic of conversation for the hunt. We're not hunting yet. I'd like to hear about it at last from someone who was actually there. The Cumans attacked scallops, and um, well, anyone who didn't flee. That's what they all say. I want details. Is it really necessary, sir? Arguing with the nobility again, eh? It seems you're a bit of a rebel. No, not at all. We'll make camp here. Coming up, sir. At long last. I have it right here, sir. And the bacon? Where's the bacon? Your lord tells you to bring wine and bacon and you keep him waiting? Who the fuck do you think you are? I have it right here, sir. Where's the wine? I have it right here, sir. At long last. So, are you enjoying being on the hunt? I am, although we haven't actually hunted anything yet. That doesn't matter. Hunting is a diversion. The main thing is to get out of Rate for a while. Listening to Hanush's lectures all day long would drive anyone mad. How come Hanush looks after you anyway? For a start, he doesn't look after me. I'm not an infant blacksmith's boy. Hanush is just managing my property until I'm an adult. When will that happen? What are you implying? Nothing. I didn't mean it like that. I meant that you seem quite adult to me already, so... Well... It's hard to say. Before he died, my father appointed a council of nobles to decide the matter. Only they can't be bothered travelling halfway across the country just to assess the claim of some stripling. Under normal circumstances, it wouldn't be necessary. The king would decide on my adulthood. Only... The king is gone. Just so. If I may ask, sir, what does a lord like you do all day? 
When I was little, I was awfully bored, I can tell you. There was always some courtier or teacher dogging my footsteps. Now I spend most of my time trying to learn from Sir Hanush. Governing is no joke, at least most of the time. Only last week I had to listen to complaints from my subjects. But that could be interesting too, couldn't it? <laughs> my lord, this yokel here empties his piss pot in my yard. And sir, that old hag put a spell on my cow. And sir, my old woman is fucking half the village. Like a flock of sheep bleating all the time. Even study is more interesting. What are we going to hunt? Cumans. What? Cumans? But... <laughs> you should see your face! <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> we'll see what we can get. But I'd like to bag a boar. One, at least. And a few hares, too, eh? But what about you? Before I couldn't get a word out of you, now your tongue's loosened. So, tell me about scallops. I heard Sigismund had a hundred banners there. I really don't want to talk about it. If I only wanted someone to fetch my game, a dog would do just as well. It's my escort's duty to entertain me, so talk. As you wish, my lord. It's not easy for me to talk about, sir. My parents were killed right in front of my eyes. Well, couldn't you do anything about it? I mean to say, didn't Radzig put up a defence? They caught us unprepared. There was no time for anything. I wanted to save my parents, but I was too late. All right, then. I was only asking. I'm sorry, sir. I, I didn't mean... That's all right, Henry. Don't mind me. Sometimes I open my mouth before thinking, too. Well, never mind. Anyway, it's too late to go anywhere today. But tomorrow we set off at first light. Got it? Yes, sir.
Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? It's still dark. I thought we were going to get an early start, sir. Early means at first light. Light, you dolt. Do you want me to break my neck in the black of night? Go back to sleep, damn it. Farewell. Damn! Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? Are you mad? I... Uh... Good luck to you. Sir? Wake up, sir. It's time to go. <sighs> what? I thought we were going to get an early... Early! May the Lord watch over you. What are you waiting for? Your lord requires you for the hunt. Oh, really? Such a renowned hunter needs help. You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? No, heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant, we'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs wins. Oh, and if you don't have anything to shoot with, there's a crate in the camp with some old hunting equipment. You can help yourself. After all, there's... By all means, sir. Ha! You and now turn your...
How many bunnies have you taken down? Yeah. How did the hunt go for you, sir? Have you got enough hair? Show me. It looks like we're as bad as each other. It's getting quite late. I think we've had enough fun for one day. Henry, follow me. We're going hunting.
Please, sir, help me. What's happened to you? I've walked all the way from Kut so I can swathe my feet. Wait, I'll see what I've got. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Any time. Look at you, lover boy. What now? Should we take a walk? It's getting too late now. But if you pick me up during the day, I'll be glad to take a walk with you. As her ladyship commands? <laughs> you jester.
Damn! A thief! He's stealing here! Don't move a finger! Want to earn a bit of coin? There's plenty of coin in it. Quick! Not quick! Before he gets space. away! Come here, Lily Liver!
Wait a moment. Wait a moment. You're him, right? The boy from Scarlet's. You're the young fellow who came. Yes. The lady. Ah. Very well. May the Lord watch over you. Oh, God damn it, my stomach hurts. Praised. What? I heard you wanted to. It's true. I need. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an. E I'm looking for a few things to give. My lady, for what? <sighs> and. It will be. I need you. Who am I supposed? From Con. And believe. Here you go. And the. I that just. Who am I supposed to From Conrad H and believe me. You said Precisely. But you Wine? Thank you. I May the Lord watch over you. I feel quite hungry. You there! Stop! Surrender! You're under arrest to break the law.
God be with you. Any work going here? Enough for a dozen men. He could take the place of that useless stable hand Vashek for a start. What happened? Did he do something wrong? I just found out that he lost our pie. Lost it where? In his stomach? No, no. Oh. He fell. Well, I can't take... That would be... Right. I'm looking for the local group. Well, you found him. What can I do for you? The lady Stephanie of Talmberg sent me. She said you have a roan ready for her. Well, well, that miserable... That horse... Try asking Vasha. For some reason that... Take care now. Just like that. Slow and quiet, whatever you do. Understand? Or watch out from the top of that mound.
You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why, why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So, next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> Fuck. After him. Fetch. <laughs> Mount up, Henry. Chase down that swine. Just you wait, you donkey's ass. Huh? No I'll have you yet. Nichak, Nichak, me boy did that.
Yeah. I'd better go back for Sahan, otherwise Sahanish will have me drawn and quartered.
to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry.
can't just leave Sir Hans here to rot, even if he is a pain in the ass. Come now, stop pretending to be a man and get home.